Welcome to Lecture Online, and here's the second example of how to deal with mixture problems in the set called Algebra Lessons 3D, how to do word problems. And the word problem here says that we have 260 cubic centimeters of a 40% acid solution, and it is added to a 100% acid solution to form a 60% acid solution. And how much of the 100% acid solution is needed to accomplish that? It's a little bit different of a problem, but again, the approach will be about the same. We're going to let x represent something, and in this case, let x equal the amount, which is what we're looking for, of the 100% acid solution. So let x equal the amount of the 100% acid solution. And since they don't tell us how much of the total solution we end up with, they just tell us it's a 60% acid solution, but not how much, we can then assume that the amount of the 40% acid solution, which is given, plus the amount of the 100% acid solution, which we assume to be x, together add up to the total amount of solution. So we can say that 260 plus x equal the amount of the final or 60% acid solution. So now we have the two unknowns the amount of the acid solution, that's 100%, plus the amount of final acid solution, which is 60%, in terms of x. So now we can go ahead and solve the problem. So the best way to do a mixture problem like this is to keep track of how much acid you have. So we can say that the acid in the 40% solution plus the amount of acid in the 100% solution must equal the acid in the 60% solution. So again, keep track of the acid. However much acid you had in the 40% solution plus how much acid you have in the 100% solution together should add up to the amount of acid you have in the 60% solution. And how do you calculate the acid in each solution? You multiply the concentration times the amount that you have. So you take the 40% and you multiply it times the amount, which is 260 cubic centimeters. And here, the uh, concentration, 100% times how much acid? We said it was x equals the concentration, 60% times the total amount, which would be x plus 260. So that's how you keep track of the acid, and that this plus this must add up to that, right? So the amount of acid here plus the amount of acid here must add up to the total amount of acid. So now we have an equation. We have 40% times 260 plus 100% times x equals 60% times x plus 260. And then of course to solve a problem like this we want to convert from percentage to decimals. So 40% is 0.4 times 260 plus 100% that's simply 1 times x equals 60%, which is 0.6, times x plus 260. And now, to get rid of the decimal places, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 10. That should do it. So multiply the left side by 10, multiply, multiply the right side by 10. So 10 times 0.4 is 4. So 4 times 260 plus 10 times 1 is 10, times x equals 10 times 0.6, which is 6 times x plus 260. And now we can go ahead and multiply everything through to get rid of the parentheses. So 4 times 260, that's uh, 1,040, plus 10x equals 6x plus, and 6 times 260, well, 6 times 250 is 1,500, so to add another 6 times 10, that's 1,560. All right, now, we move all the terms with the x to one side, all the terms without the x to the other side. So the 1,040 goes over here, and the 6x goes over here. When we do that, we end up with, on the, re on the left side, 10x minus 6x equals, on the right side, 1,560 minus 1,040. So now we can combine like terms on both sides of the equation. On the left side, we get 4x equals, on the right side, we get 520. And finally, we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient from the x. That cancels out. We have x is equal to 4 goes into 520 how many times? So 4 goes into 5 one time. 
that leaves him with one. Drive down to two, that's three. Drive down to zero, that's 130. Four goes into 520 130 times, which means, by definition, since X was the amount of the 100% asset solution we needed, that means we need 130 milliliters of the 100% solution. And how much solution do we finally end up with? Well, 260 plus the 130, that means we end up with a total of 390 milliliters of the final 60% solution. They didn't specifically ask for that, but hey, we just added it right here. Okay, and that's how you do this mixture problem.